How to make a spaghetti squash in your Instant Pot without cutting off your fingers. I'm Urvashi, my blog is twosleevers.com and if you're like me, you have really struggled with a spaghetti squash. This, people, is a spaghetti squash. I have an entire article on how to take the label off. I have an entire article on how to buy the best spaghetti squash, how to know it's intact, how to know it's fresh, how long can you store it. You should definitely read that article. But today we're gonna to talk about how to cook this. So here's the problem that I have with this. The skin is very, very hard, and I have really struggled to cut this uh, without cutting my fingers off. I'm clumsy, I also have uh, a degenerative joint disease, and so my joints don't do as well. And for a lot of you, it just may be too much hassle. The thing about the Instant Pot is that it's gonna steam the squash, and it's gonna steam it whole. This is not even a recipe, this is a how-to, it's the simplest thing. Here's how you do it. You find a squash that has the stem intact for reasons I specify in the article. You wanna make sure it fits into your Instant Pot. Mine barely fits. I realize it sticks up a little bit. I'm going to cut the stalk off now to see if that will work. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put water on the bottom, you're gonna put a little trivet on top, and you're gonna poke holes in this because you don't want it to explode as it cooks inside. You want the steam to be able to escape, okay? So let me do this step by step. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour about a cup and a half or two cups of water in here. And I'm gonna put a trivet on top. I'm gonna give you a link to my Amazon store at the bottom. Uh, as well as a link to the post. So if, before you ask me, what am I using? Uh, just go check the store and check the post. I've linked to all of these things, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a knife that's fairly sharp on the end and you're gonna poke holes in it. And actually, the safer way to do this is to take a smaller knife so that if it slips, there's less chance of you hurting yourself. The tip on this one, as you see, is pretty sharp, okay? So just kind of do this a little bit. That's it. How long did it take? Two minutes, maybe? Put this in here. Oh, that trivet's not gonna work. So I'm gonna turn this one upside down because I just kinda want the squash to not be sitting on the uh, bottom of the pot. Why is that? The reason, see, yeah, I wanna show you what I did. I flipped this over, it's under the water, but if I do this, it still holds it above the bottom. The reason I wanna do that is because if the squash sits on the bottom, the heat in an Instant Pot starts from the bottom and you're gonna have a little burn spot, which you don't want. So you just want a little something that's gonna elevate it, okay? All right, so what did I do? I poured water, I kept, poked holes in the thing, I put it on our trivet just enough to raise it off. You're gonna to go to pressure cook, you're gonna hit start and you're gonna give it so here's what I would do. If you're gonna eat this in a recipe, which means it's gonna get cooked a little bit more, I would give it about eight minutes. If you're gonna eat it by itself with salt and pepper and butter, you want it a little bit more cooked, I would give it somewhere between nine and 10. Now, the size of the squash is going to matter. So I'm giving this eight, high pressure, and I'm gonna hit start. At the end of eight minutes, I'm gonna give it 10 minutes to just rest, and then I'm gonna come show you how you can cut it two different ways, how to get the seeds out, and what to do with it afterwards. Okay, so we're back with the spaghetti squash. I'm gonna release all pressure. So now, you know, squashes are different ages and different thicknesses. So uh, it might take a little bit longer or shorter for yours to cook. So what I would urge you to do is before you take it out of the Instant Pot here, poke it and make sure it's cooked to your likeness before you take it out. Otherwise, putting it back in with it half sliced, huge mess. So I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna poke in here. The skin is hard, but it should go through the squash really easily and is going through the squash really easily. So your best bet is to wait until it's a little bit cold and tip it out. The base range as to which way you should cut it. Should you cut it this way, crosswise, or should you cut it lengthwise? So I think for me, I cut it lengthwise and I'll tell you why. I like using the shell of the squash to be able to um, actually present the spaghetti squash in. This is a presentation issue. Uh, there's some debate also as to how long the strands are. People swear that if you cut it crosswise, you get longer strands because you can go round and round. But for me, honestly, I don't want the strands too long. I want them, you know, an edible length so I'm not slurping my spaghetti squash noodles. So for today, we're gonna cut it this way, okay? You can cut it however you choose. Stick a fork in there so that you're not splashing this thing around. See, the skin is still hard. Even with pressure cooking, it's still hard. So if I hadn't pressure cooked it, I don't—I shudder to imagine what I'd be going through right now. This part, it just goes through really, really easily. The part you're gonna have a little bit of push through is on the stock side, okay? So just push there and there you go, okay? Hey, look, some seeds sprouted. Looks disgusting, but it's actually just nature. So you have got to take the seeds out now. And what I find is super helpful is a little grapefruit spoon. Something with a little serrated edge really just does a good job, okay? 
So I'm gonna roughly scrape this. Oh, this part is so boring. So here are all my seeds and strands. Now there's some question as to whether or not you can eat these. Don't ask me, I don't know, I don't eat them. There's debate about whether they're poisonous, whether they should be cooked, don't know. I'm throwing away. Okay, now we're gonna make the squash, the, the spaghetti part of the squash. Clean kitchen towel, and then you hold this and you pull the strands out, okay? Now I could see how if this was cut sideways, you would get more out of there. Um, by the way, if you wait until it cools like a sensible person would, you wouldn't be having to use a kitchen towel. But hey, it's Sunday. I have things I want to do. All right, so you go through and you pull the strands out like this. You're making little spaghettis out of it. God, this thing is so hot. It's kind of like shredding pork, which if you're a vegetarian, I'm sorry, I just said that, but it's kind of like shredding, you know, anything. <laughs> it's kind of like shredding spaghetti squash. Who knew? Okay, there you go. Super perfect. And here's your shell. And uh, if you, you know, didn't make holes in it like I did, you could put stuff back in here. So typically what I'll do is I'll just use um, butter, salt, and pepper if I make a simple dish. Or I have an amazing, amazing garlic parmesan spaghetti squash. I think that's going into the um, Instant Pot Vegetarian Cookbook. Uh, but you can do that. By the way, for those of you who are asking how to do this in an oven, it's actually simple, but you do have to cut the squash. I have the instructions in the same post that, uh, that shows you how to make spaghetti squash. It's linked in the description below. So this is how you make it. Put the whole squash in, poke holes, cook it for somewhere between eight and 10 minutes, depending on how tender you want your squash. Let it rest for 10 minutes, very carefully take it out, cut it, scrape off the seeds with a grapefruit spoon, and then you have your spaghetti squash. I'm Arishi, my blog is twosleepers.com. Thank you for watching, I hope that was helpful.